Hi guys, the Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, I'm coming around. Hi guys. Okay, let me just make sure that you guys can see me good. Just a second, let me. What I have in front of me is I have a um a mirror in front of me because I tape I uh, record with my phone so I have to just make sure that you can see me just a second yeah you can see me good okay good wish I had that mirror up a little closer but anyway it's Dollar Tree house so let's get busy with the Dollar Tree house sorry guys just know we're always trying our best for you us uh, uh content creators you guys we have to we, we have to create the content then after that we have to film it do a little bit of editing or some people do a lot of editing i do a little bit of editing so it's a lot okay here we go okay i wanted to oh you know what there was one other thing just a second let me grab i want to make sure i have all, anything christmas i'm showing you guys Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure I was showing you guys anything that is Christmas, because after this week, it won't be, you know, just a second, let me see if I can put this up a little bit, and I can see into the camera, is that good? Yeah, still good, okay, okay. So I have not a lot of Christmas things, but a few Christmas things. And, it's, you know, boxes or bags that they show at the end. So I can't, um, so, um, you can't show them before because they come with the boxes and bags the last two weeks before Christmas comes. But look at this, you guys. Everybody's known crazy. I've been known crazy for years. Look how adorable this is. Now, I want to frame this for next year. Now, this won't go into my pink shabby sheet Christmas because it's not pink and I can't paint it because it's you know it's a bag but um in my bedroom I'm doing a um French country and I'll probably be adding some different reds and stuff like that in my French country for Christmas decor because this will be pretty neutral in there French country is a lot of whites and beiges and all of that so I can throw in some red which I've been wanting to be able to throw some red in like some buffalo check Red, red and white buffalo check, black and white buffalo check, stuff like that. So, anyway, that was a long explanation for this. So, anyway, this would be great to frame. And you get get two of them. I love that. So, maybe I could do one in my bedroom and one in my bathroom. That's in my bedroom. That'd be cool. Okay, going along that same line, more box. Let me go to boxes. Please let this... Should be able to perfect okay so these boxes right here look how beautiful these are is there only two boxes i don't know oh yeah if there's three of them in here so let me open these now i didn't get these any of these any of these boxes that i got or bags i didn't get them for um to for presents i got them all for framing for next year and I kind of got way too many, but I was going crazy. Because these will have to either go into, because I do a pink shabby sheet Christmas. So all this stuff will have to go in my bedroom to decorate my bedroom and my bathroom in my bedroom. So look at this. Isn't that fabulous, you guys? I absolutely love it. This will be gorgeous. Um, is this 11 by 14? Okay, there's boxes. Okay, these are not 11 by 14. These are 11 by 14. I'll show you that in a second. But this one is not 11 by 14, but it's close to it. So you could always put a piece of cardstock in the back and then put and then center this um, in a 11 by 14 frame without having to get into special framing and all that. And you can get your 11 by 14 frames at Dollar Tree. When you see your 11 by 14 frames, pick them up. Pick up five, six, seven, eight of them because they do not always have 11 by 14. In fact, right now they don't have 11 by 14. So I have quite a few at the house because I keep those in stock. Um, whenever I see them, but when you see them, pick them up because they don't always have them. Okay, now this one I'm not a big fan of, but I will just save it so that um, I won't be framing this in case I need a box. These are all shirt boxes. 
So I'm not a big fan of that one, but I am a fan of this one. I thought this one was really cute. How does it go? Look at the Santa Claus belt. Isn't that cute? I love that. So I'm a fan of the other two. So I will be framing these and be putting this up in my room as my decor for uh, Christmas next year. And I have, I decorate a little in my bedroom. I've never really gone all out in my bedroom decorating, but since I'm doing this French country look in my bedroom, when it comes to Christmas, I'm going to go all out in my bedroom. So what that means is, is that I usually start November 1st for my Christmas decor. Now I'm going to start like the last week. So I have like the week to decorate my bedroom. People like a week. You guys, when it comes to Christmas, I go all out. <laughs> to me, Christmas decorating is like one big craft project. That's how I look at it. And it really is one big craft project. And I do many craft projects to create this one big craft project, which is my Christmas decor. So. I mean, to decorate to the extent that I do it, or some of my friends that like to do it too, you have to really like doing it, you know? So, if you don't really like doing decorating like that, then don't do it. But you have to enjoy it to be decorating that much. Now, this will fit in a 11 by 14 frame. You may have to trim it a little bit, but pretty much it'll, it'll, it'll fit. Look, remember I said I wanted to add the buffalo check? Isn't that fabulous, you guys? Love fabulous isn't that cool oh I am obsessed love it and now that I said that I'm glad that I got this many boxes because then I'll have enough also to put in my bathroom I can totally dress up my bathroom for Christmas too and um, I like this Marion Bright one look how cool this looks so farmhouse it also looks very fr uh, French um, French country yeah very, I think it looks pretty French country, too. Love it. Okay. Like I said, these will fit in the frames. I think you might have to trim a tiny bit off of one side a little bit to fit in it. I remember when I was doing the largest boxes a couple years ago. Just a second. Oh, you guys. Isn't this a beautiful mug? Okay, this is Mackenzie Childs. Now, you guys see me drink out of the black and white check one? I have two of those. Well, they had a special on Shop NBC, and you get four of these McKinsey mugs for, um, okay, now this sounds expensive, okay, you guys? But these, if they, you buy the McKinsey store, these are $50 a piece, these mugs. They're hand-painted. They're like a, like a coppery stainless steel, something like that. And then um, molten glass is then cured onto this over the design, I believe. So they're really, they're beautiful. They feel great in the hand and they're chubby. You can put these under a broiler and um, uh, do a little, uh, like a souffle with some um, croissant on top and let it bloom up on a soup. She was saying you could put these in the oven like that. I was like under 500. I probably will never do it. But anyway. So they were four for uh, four for a hundred. So they were twenty five dollars a piece instead of paying fifty dollars a piece. So they were half price. So I know you guys, twenty five dollars for a mug is ridiculous. But I love this Mackenzie Child. So um, I got four different floral ones, and how it came was four different florals. And then a couple months ago, they had a special for a hundred, and also because I went ahead and got the credit card. I got like 20 off or something. Anyway, for $100, I got the McKenzie Child's uh, teapot, black and white check, and I got two black and white check mugs with it for $100. That was great because the mugs were like free. And I got 25 off of the teapot, the black and white check uh, tea kettle, not teapot, tea kettle that goes on the stove. And basically the, the two mugs were free. So that was a great deal. So I, I buy her stuff when I can get really good deals. Anyway, and that was part of my Christmas, so. All right. Sorry to go off on that tangent, but. And if you don't know about Mackenzie Childs, go on Shop HQ and check out her merchandise on there. And then go to the Mackenzie Childs uh, website, and you'll see. Oh, I love their stuff. And I do a lot of Mackenzie Child dupes on my channel. You can look below, and you'll see a bunch of dupes that I did for Christmas. Okay, 
more boxes that I want to frame. This to me is so French country or um, or farmhouse. Look at that one. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Love it. I think it's very farmhouse for sure. And I think I think it's very French country. So it's gonna go in my room really good. I'm gonna get ready to have massive art on my walls. Okay. One, oh, I got, okay, just be prepared. I got a lot of them. I got a lot of it going on here with these. Here's another one I think looks very farmhouse and looks very French country. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So if you if you decorate French country or farmhouse um, in your house, period, that would be really cool if you if you get these, um, or if you do your bedroom just like I'm doing my bedroom. Okay, this one comes as the only one that comes in that packet. I'm not a big fan of this one, but I'll save it in case I need a shirt box. I don't think it's horrible. I just I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, okay, where's my? There it is. All right, more shirt boxes. I was so happy I went to the Dollar Tree that's by my house around the corner and they had all the boxes out and they had just put them out so I just got the cream of the crop being able to get all of the cool ones. Okay, this is that same one but in a smaller, a little bit smaller version. This one, see it's a little bit smaller. So I, I would still put this in the by 14 frame just like I said, put some type of scrapbook paper behind it and then map this in the middle. So, isn't it cute? I, I love it. This is what we want to go in my bathroom. That'll be perfect. And then, oh, this is another one in a smaller one. So, I was excited about having that. So, again, this can go in my bathroom. So, I'm going to have some really pretty art for my bathroom. And then I thought this one was so cute. From Santa, the North Pole, don't open until December 25th. Look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. Like a big stamp it looks I think it's I think all of these look very farmhouse and very French country they all look very old world you know okay oh I told you I went nuts on these I mean I bought more than I have wall space for but oh well I can switch them out it during the season I can also have some for next year and then the year after that so Okay, this one I'm not a fan of. Some people might like this one. And I'm really not a fan of this one either. Why did I get this? Okay, so there's this one. <laughs> These two I'm not that big a fan of, but I'll go ahead and take them. This one's kind of cute, though. You know what? I, I do like this one. Now that I look at it in my mirror. Yeah, I'll definitely frame that one up. That one's really cute. This one, I'll... I'll save it for a strip box um this one I thought was really this is why I bought it love this I love that reindeer reindeer farm the North Pole Company sleigh rides oh I love it that's why I bought it because of this one but I do like this one too so I will at least I got two out of that and maybe by next year I'll change my mind. Just a second, you guys. Maybe by next year I'll change my mind and maybe I will like the other one. You know, we never know. It has that cool farmhouse vibe in the background. Okay, I dropped something. I don't know what that is. Um, let me just go. Um, this is the last set of boxes. Is not jacked. I was running around doing errands before I did this video, so I didn't really look at myself before I turned the video on. But I just did my hair and makeup before I went out, so running running errands, so forget I couldn't look that bad. This is cute. This is like the big one, but a small one. So this could probably fit in the 8x10 frame. You may need to mat it first with like some scrapbook paper and then center this. It might be a little bit smaller than 8x10. Isn't that so cute? 
Oh my god, this can go in my bathroom too. This is so cute. Um, I love this one too. I think it's so adorable. Look. And both of these are very, I think, farmhouse, very French country. So cute. And then, oh, all this packet right here all had cute ones. And I wanted this packet that I'm showing right now in the big one, and I couldn't find it. So, look how cute that is. I love it. And I really don't need to go look for the big version of this because, yeah, I have way too much. But look how cute it is. Isn't that adorable? So, I have a lot of really cool art next year for my bedroom and my bathroom. So, I'm super excited about that. And then I got some shirt boxes if I need shirt boxes. So... So make sure you always look at the bags and the gnomes for um, framing, for, for artwork. Because artwork can be expensive. If you guys spend the Hobby Lobby, you see, and you can do 11 by 14, which is a pretty big, a bit, pretty big picture, and have artwork for two bucks. One dollar for the frame and one dollar for the box. Oh, you're getting two or three boxes in each thing. I think you're getting three, almost, I think three boxes in each one. So actually, you're, you're let's just say a quarter for the boxes. So you're paying a dollar twenty-five for the frame and then the box or the bag. The bags are a dollar. So if you do a bag, it's two bucks. If you do a um, a box and you get two or three, you're looking at twenty-five cents maybe. So a dollar twenty-five. That's good. That's a good deal. Oh, just got some Eileen's tacky. So if you didn't know, they have it. They're most crafters know. But I try to just keep that well stocked. And I like that size too. I mean, not that I'm doing any traveling right now at all, but whenever we finally do get to travel, those are a nice size to be able to, you know, plop in there. Okay, this stuff right here, well, there's one thing that's really cute. Um, I got that uh, facial massager. I picked up like five of these because I picked up some for gifts and then um, a couple for myself. So I think I picked two or three up for myself just to have them in stock and have one breaks and I have another one because you guys, you know, a facial massager, I thought, you know, how good is a massager for your face? So I looked it up and they say that this is, um, when you massage your face, it's excellent for your face. And it reminded me, cause I'm also a cosmetologist. And when we would massage people's faces, we would do it to bring blood, oxygen and collagen to the skin. So when you do this, it does the same thing. So it's really good. Also, it's good for, um, wrinkles. If you're bringing collagen to the skin and also it's good for toning like the muscles in the in the face and stuff so this would be good to keep by your bed every night and or in the morning and just run this over your face so because it has a lot of good benefits okay um and i believed it because like i said uh, as a cosmetologist i did hair i didn't really do facials too much but i learned how to do facials and that's why we would, we would do a whole massaging technique throughout the whole face and that was the reasons we would do it okay um so if you see those, pick them up. They're going quick. And that'd be great also for a spa basket. Just bought some tape. Oh, major. Um, this isn't anything major either. Um, I got parchment paper. Just so you know, if you didn't know that Dollar Tree has parchment paper. And you get a decent amount on here for a dollar. So, and if you buy two of them, you get a, a really a good amount. Like as much as you would pay $5 at the grocery store. And you know what they had? They had Reynolds Wrap. They had the main brand this time. So, I was like, okay. So I picked a couple of those up. Okay. You guys, if you see squirt bottles, because, you know, our pandemic is getting worse, and a lot of us make our own stuff. Um, if you do bleach and water, I do vinegar and water, bleach and water, I do pine salt, all those type of things. Um, pick these up because they go quick. And this one right here works really well. I have good luck with this. Um, but with the whole COVID thing and people wanting to, you know, whatever their solutions are, these squirt bottles go quick. In fact, when they, when COVID first started, I couldn't find a damn squirt bottle. So I picked up five squirt bottles so that I'm stocked with those. Okay. Um, I was watching the Duchess. Hey Duchess. Um, Jeannie, the Duchess. And she said that this fix all adhesive, I'm going to use this the next time I glue something that she said that, um, Someone told her, 
she's watching a show, she's watching someone else's channel, and they said this is just like E6000. That's what it looks like. It's called Fix All Adhesive. She said it looks just like E6000. Now, at Walmart, it's like two seventy five, so it's almost three bucks. Let's say three bucks for um, E6000. And we all know I would like E6000 because you can glue, you can glue together like plastic to plastic, plastic to metal, things that don't glue together, plastic, metal to metal, uh, glass to plastic, whatever you want, it stick made it six. So that's what she said this stuff is. So I wanted to try that so I can have that on hand. If it is, I'll buy, pick up a, quite a few of these because that's a good price. Um, also I bought, um, some socks. I picked up one, two, three of these Snuggadoo socks, and I picked up three gray for gnomes. Aren't they cute? So I picked up three gray for gnomes, because I want to do like farmhousey or French country gnomes. So I want them to look real vintagey, because I'm going to put some in my room. And I might make some, you know, farmhousey, vintagey looking ones um, for um, Easter also. So, and I want to make some Easter bunnies too. Um, I learned some good techniques for those using, I think you use socks, you can use whatever. Um, for my shabby chic gnomes, my pink ones, I just thought these are cute. So, got those. Just looking at what I have here. Some stuff I leave right here on the counter, so I put it away because it goes into my kitchen. All right, what else? What time do we have here? Okay. We have a lot more stuff than I thought we did. You know what it is? I had so many boxes. Um, some more of these. Remember I told you about like five of these. Five or six, something like that. So here's some more. So here it comes in the pink. And these are all pink. Oh, and it's purple. I think I have a teal and a pink one. Another teal and pink. I think I bought six of them. Like I said, I wanted a couple for myself and the rest I'm giving as gifts. Um, okay, I picked up two of these. Okay, you guys, these are fabulous. This is what I do. I scrub my toilets. I wipe down my toilet like every other day, but I scrub my toilets once a week. And um, instead of leaving that toilet brush, that nasty toilet brush in this little thing, building up all kinds of bacteria, I don't want to think about it. I just used these. I got this idea from a lady. She was actually buying something like this, and she was having to change the heads off. This is even better than that. Pick up one of these, because it gets up underneath the toilet rim, you know, up there where it gets all gooky, and you can't get the big fat one up there, and you get around that rim underneath there. It's a dollar. Just chuck this. So I, I keep four or five of these on hand at all times, so I go through, um, so I just $4 a month. Because the replacement heads she has, she had been spending money on those replacement heads. So I thought, well, here we go. And then all the bacteria and all this gets thrown in the garbage. Because that's nasty. Okay. More um, Eileen's Tacky. More tape. Um, needed some thumbtacks, the clear ones. You guys, this is a good little deal for the thumbtacks. I'm trying to make a big deal of mundane things. But this is a good deal. Because even at Walmart, you'll spend 2 or $3 on the, on the thumbtacks. And these are the clear ones. You can hang a lot of pictures up with thumbtacks if they're not heavy. So, let me keep. Oh! Okay. Okay, I picked these up. These are so cute. They're not super cozy or anything. But you know what I like to do with these? Um, I, um, for Olivia, Olivia Hernandez, hey Olivia, I uh, laced them out. I put laces and do I put uh, wedding appliques and laces and stuff on this part right here and totally shabby chic them out and gave them as a gift. So I just thought these were cute. I have a couple of other ones, but I thought the polka dot ones were cute. So I picked those up to do that with. And I don't know how they feel. They feel like not that great, but if you just shabby chic these out, they almost turn into like a little decor piece in someone's craft room. Like I'm sure that's what Olivia's doing with hers. So, Like I, because she's a crafter and she likes to um, take things and alter them with laces and doilies and all that. So I knew she'd appreciate that. Anyway, um, I think I picked up, I'm not sure how many. 
I think I picked up four or five of these. These are the uh, dust mops. Microfiber dust mop pad. Yeah, I picked up five of these. These are great, of course, for um, for beard, gnome beards. I do mostly girl gnomes, so I don't really do too many beards. But it's also great for the replacement of fur in a project. Like if you want to take like your gnome hat, like the gnome hat around the brim, and you want fur, it's so cute, you guys. Um, you can use these. I have reindeer this year that I did, and I put fur around their necks, and I use this. You know, let me grab them. Let me grab both really quick. Just a second. I don't kill myself. I'll show you the gnome, and I'll show you... People always say they like that I give ideas, so I'm glad because I like to get, I like to share, I like to share what I'm doing. Okay, so this is a gnome I made, a shabby chic gnome. Isn't she so cute? This right here is made out of um, the baby blanket on the bottom, and the, this is a sock on top, Dollar Tree sock for the hat. But look, see how I did the big the fur around it. It's so cute, isn't it? Look how cute that is. And that's the mop, that's the mop, the, um, what's it called? Microfiber dust mop. Okay, so I use it as the fur. So cute. You guys, I just learned how to make gnome shoes out of paper towel rolls. And you guys, they're like gnome boots. So I cannot wait to make some. I'm going to make some here soon, and I'm going to put them on her. Oh, it's going to be so cute. I'm going to put them on a bunch of my gnomes. Anyway, now the other one I did was look how cute this is. Now you can get these deer if you get them at the beginning of the season, right when nine, the 99 cent store puts them out. They have these for $1.99. Aren't these fabulous? I mean, and but what makes it look fabulous is me putting that fur around the neck. Isn't that fabulous? And I want it thick like that, like big. I think it looks more lush. So I bought like, not this year, cause I didn't, I had, I had enough of them, but I probably bought 15 or 16 of these. So I have these deer all over my house at Christmas time. But how cute, isn't that adorable? Okay, so I wanted to show you the uses for that. Here's some more of the mop heads. Like I said, I think I bought like five or six of them, just so I have a lot in my stash. Because stuff like that, all of a sudden you can't find it, so. Okay, um, I picked up, I picked up three of these. These are just, and you get two for a dollar, so this is a great deal, it's in the craft section. It's just the spray bottles, but I like to make my own hand sanitizer. Um, I use the 70% alcohol from, from Dollar Tree, which they now finally have in, but they already sold out. And I use, um, like 10 drops of, uh, lavender oil, and that's also antiviral. So between the 70% of alcohol and the antiviral lavender, we're going to be doing good. Okay. Then I, um, I think you get four. Yeah. You, oh yeah, you do. You get four in here. I just, I already opened it. These little tins are so adorable. If you want, you can um, take some Tim Holtz alcohol inks and distress these. And then put little labels on them and make them like old tens and stuff. I think they're cool. So I want to make little old tens out of them. And then just store my stuff in them. Like whatever. Then I already took one of these out. You get two in a pack. And I want to do the same thing to this one. I want to use the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. And when you do that, it ages these. If you don't know what Tim Holtz alcohol inks are for aging things, like metal, um, look it up. Just look up Tim Holtz alcohol inks and you'll see a ton of videos on it so i'll do the same thing to this and then do a cool old-fashioned french label be fabulous oh we need batteries but this is a good deal because you get uh you get like six of them in here so that was a pretty good deal and a long time ago kimbo creations did like a little experiment on the batteries and they lasted just as long as the expensive ones like jar cells so when she said that, I don't even fret. I only buy my batteries from Dollar Tree. Um, they had three more of these. It's like I had no business buying them, but they had three left. So I bought them. Look, and it's my favorite. You guys, my tree 
is scattered with these ballerinas. I just, and this is my favorite thing she's doing is on, she's on point. Wait. Yeah, she's on point. See? And one leg up. Wait, maybe I shouldn't point. There we go. So see how she's on point? And so graceful. I love it. I used to be a dancer, so. I love it. So pretty. And I love the fur for the skirt and then the rhinestones around the waist. These, I was talking about these a while back. These are one of the best deals for Christmas. These right here. Oh, I even hung one of these um, in my car by the uh, mirror, by the rearview mirror thing to look in the back. Whatever that mirror is in the front of your car, that mirror. I hung this from there. It's so pretty and it just, oh, but I scattered my tree. My tree probably has 15 of these on, 10 to 15 of these on there. And then I also put these also in um, wreaths. I have this wreath back here. Uh, these ballerinas are in the wreath. So yeah, I went nuts on those wreaths. Okay. Um, the reason I bought these, aren't these adorable? Okay, now this does not go with my um, shabby sheet Christmas. But the reason I bought these is so I can use them as a pattern for the legs. You know how people are taking these legs and they're putting them on their gnomes? Well, um, I'm going to use it as a pattern to cut out my own leg, my own elf legs and put them on my gnomes. Cute, huh? Because it's so cute when you have your gnome. See? And it has like little legs like this. See how cute that is? Just a second. See how cute that is? <laughs> but it didn't really match because, you know, they're red and not. But anyway, that's why I got these as a pattern. Okay. Just a second, I'm going to put all this back. Like that stays in there. If I have time, um, I'll show you how I take the alcohol inks and um, age those out with the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. And it doesn't have to be Tim Holtz alcohol inks. There's other brands. Um, you can use that brand too. Okay, we're almost done. You guys, get your maxi pads at Dollar Tree. In my opinion, these are an awesome deal. You get 16 in a pack. I used to use um, some name brand from um, Sam's Club, and I just get them at Dollar Tree now. When I buy five packs, you get around seventy-five. That's five dollars. I for for seventy-five, I used to spend fifteen dollars at Sam's Club. So now I spend five for five packs instead of spending uh, five packs, which is seventy-five, instead of spending fifteen for seventy-five packs. So great deal. So I picked up. I just picked up two because I have tons. I just pick up a few every time so I have a nice big pile at all times. Okay, here's another one of those mop heads. Here's another one of those mop heads for the fur. And then I picked up, let me see, my nose. I picked up, um, one, two, I think I picked up five or six of these, yeah. These nautical ropes. Um, just so I can have them in my stash. They don't always have this nautical rope, and especially this is a new one. See how it's like, it's more, um, a lighter color, like beige, and it's not so stiff, see? So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these, and, um, I'm going to, uh, my mirror, my, um, mirror in my, uh, bathroom, it, you know, it doesn't have a frame or nothing around it, because it's just, you know, the mirror that, go, that came with the house. I'm going to put the rope going around it. How cool is that going to look? So, I think it's going to look cool. So, I'm going to do that. What is this? Oh, more batteries. I thought this whole bag was the rope. I'm glad I really looked in there. Okay. Um, one more bag. I love this. I think this is so cute. Sarcasm, welcome. 
I just think it's cool. <laughs> Ooh, that glare. Sorry, I have my ring light on. Now, I know people think sarcasm. You like sarcasm? You know what I like is I like dry humor. And dry humor is what? Sarcastic. Yeah. So that's what I like is I like dry humor. Like when people aren't even really trying and they're funny as hell. That's the kind of comedians I like. And uh, so that's why I say I like sarcasm because I like dry humor. So I think it's cute. Um, more of these. And this is, I picked up some other ones. Do I have them out here? No. But I love the sayings. And I think I got two of the same one. I'm not sure. No, it's two different ones. But I've gotten these before with different sayings. And I love them. They, they are so ray done, like everybody's saying. Yes, you can. It's not just a positive message that you need to hear. I love that. Yes, you can. And they're so ray done. And they'll go so good on tiered tray. You know, just anywhere decorative you want them to go. But it looks really cool on tiered tray. I may put these beside my bed. I'm doing, um, like I said, French country in my bedroom. And these will go in there perfect. They look really cute beside my bed. Like, you know, all my decor and stuff. Trust your purpose. That is super important. That's the truest, one of the truest statements you could ever make. Trust your purpose. I love it. So, I've seen those. I love how right down. I love how square they are. Look how thick that is. And they feel good. These would be great, great Christmas gifts. Two of those with a couple other things and a basket. That facial massager and some facial products. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you guys. I think that is it. That haul was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Usually I say the haul's a lot smaller. That was a lot bigger because I had so many boxes to go through. I think that's why I felt like it was like a lot. Anyway, everyone says they like the longer videos anyway. So why am I even worrying about it? Everyone says, I like the long videos. I look forward to the long videos. So you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do. Um... Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, why am I so absent-minded now? I've done a lot today. That's why. But anyway, do something nice for someone today. And remember, my friends, we are more alike than we are not. Okay? I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye. Happy holidays, you guys. Have a good Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, happy Hanukkah. Or happy holidays. Whatever fits for you. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.